You know how hard it is to beat off to Edie Hill when she's doing a story on famine? Because the right. pictures of the kids dying <laughs> slows me down. It's very hard to whack it off. <laughs> yeah, like in Katrina, yeah. it was really hard. They'd cut from, like, you know, an old blues guy drowning to a hot chick. <laughs> More full body shots. <laughs> hey, is that Muddy Waters drowning on his roof? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robin, I forgot here? to mention that uh, already in <laughs> New York State, we're looking at ways to, to remember Tim Russert. And uh, Senator Charles Schumer believes that renaming the road near the Buffalo Bills football stadium will be a fitting tribute to the talented and beloved TV newsman. Artie, this is, this is not a time to cry. Hey, is that, is that Fats Domino floating like... <laughs> oh, you. Here's uh, the senator. 110. <laughs> That major highway, which just about every Buffalonian drives down, uh, will be named for Tim Russert. Hopefully. Tim Russert got a, a driveway. A Buffalonian? What the fuck is that? A Malonian? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were a Buffalonian. I'm a Buffalonian. Today in the news, Tim Russert is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything sad. I'm beaten off. <laughs> Good thing I came right before she said that. Um, oh look, I remember the day Tim Russell died. I came just as they were telling you. <laughs> oh look, Sean, Sean Penn is saving a black in from. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I see. I don't know what's going on. I thought a will was a will was a will. But they are changing Leona Helmsley's will. Yeah, I was really kind of bummed. And they are stripping the dog of $10 million. Leona Helmsley left her dog, whether you agree with it or not, $12 million. Yeah. That was her wish. Uh, the family fought it, and these two kids who she left out of the will entirely, grandkids. two grandkids, she felt they didn't honor uh, her husband enough for whatever reason, as vindictive and mean as it is. They challenged the will, and the judge went back and said, you know what? She I'm going to reorder this thing. She was 87 years old. She wasn't of sound mind. Mm -hmm. No way she could leave $12 million to a dog. I'm going to give $10 million to these kids. Let them split it up, and this one will get a little less, and this one will get a little more. And, no, uh, actually, that ten million dollars is going to go into her charity, but they did uh, award one kid four million dollars and the other grandchild two two million dollars. Yeah, how can, and how then can they, they do that? Changed uh, the other numbers for some of the other. Um, so what's the point of making a will? In the will? What's the point of making a will then? That's my point. She decided what she wanted, and then the. Uh, Judge just comes along and says, nah, I think I'll do it this way. I mean, what judge is going to think I was ever in my sane mind? Right, you would never say. <laughs> <laughs> I was never of sound mind. Uh, uh, anything else? I, I, I so the dog's going to have to get by on $2 million a year. No. I, Artie Lang, of sound mind and body, want to leave $10 million to Bozo the Clown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that guy. That's right. If you want to, that's what you should be able to do. <laughs> to Foghorn Lake or... Anything else? Senator Ted, they say, is all set to battle his cancer. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't beat up during the news. I'm sorry, Robin's on. <laughs> Show us some titty and leg. Come on, Robin. Don't hold that. Kennedy's son, Representative Patrick Kennedy, said the senator will soon begin radiation and chemotherapy. Everyone wants to be with him, but we also need to give him space and time to recover where he doesn't have to be on. I was watching Edie Hill, and she goes, 63 years ago today, <laughs> Auschwitz was liberated. And you went. <laughs> Boy, he really must be a Jew. Oh. <laughs> All over her face. Boy, you were <laughs> you were anti-Nazi. Senator Ted returned to uh, Hyannis Club oh. on June 9th, a week after undergoing aggressive surgery for the malignant uh, glioma in I'll his head at Duke University. Uh, Google <laughs> Medical Center. And he will undergo further treatment hmm. at Mass General Hospital in Boston. Good. Fight it, Ted. We need you. You fight. You fight, brother. That's right. right. Let's see what else is going on. I see that uh, Samantha Sampson is in uh, page six today for going topless. That's the chick we have on? So yeah. Oh, no, Savannah. Savannah Sampson. Sampson. I'm sorry. So when I say Savannah Sampson is what I meant. You said Samantha. I'm sorry. You're always wrong, Rob. Uh, that's right. 
You're right, Artie. Savannah <laughs> Sampson was at the uh, New York Sports Club on 2nd Avenue and was topless sunbathing on the roof. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> well, they say none of the men complain. Apparently the women complain. <laughs> 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 so she was told that uh, she needed to cover up, and so they said, yeah, some of the women are complaining. She said, what about the men? And they said, oh, none of them complain. That's she awesome goes, too. I thought it was... Uh, Okay. I, I thought it was topless. okay because men can go topless, so why can't women? <laughs> as long as you weren't doing anything lewd. Because when I take my top off, nobody gets distracted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We didn't say she was the brightest bulb. She's hot. She is hot. She what was else? just in Bowling Beauties. Yes, yes. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. So. But that other bitch who tried to play me in Genji. Uh, David Hasselhoff. She was of up America's... front. She said she had a boyfriend. I'm kidding. You're being mean. I'm kidding. Go ahead. America's Got Talent. He's a judge on that show. He says he's really concentrating more on his music right now than his television. He says, I'm looking to buy a castle. I'll call it Hassle Castle. And he'll do concerts there for his music fans. So. Cool. I would, I would give anything to see a David Hasselhoff concert. What an awful Especially idea. at a castle. Could you imagine that? Beautiful. It? Who's going to the Hassle Castle to watch that jerk off thing? What, as soon as I get back from Dollywood, I'm going to the Hassle Castle. <laughs> Motherfucker. What else, Robin? Can't wait to get to the Hassle Castle. How about I'll say, I'll say Hassle Castle. <laughs> How about Creepy Mansion? That's a fucking mother. Creepy Mansion, they renamed it. <laughs> <laughs> the number one movie at the box office this weekend was The Incredible Hulk. 2-1 is a little clip. All right. Seeing as how I couldn't see it because I needed an armed guard to see it. <laughs> Let's see. Play that clip. Oh, I certainly will, Eric. When I lose control, it's very dangerous to be around me. Mm. So it made <laughs> <laughs> yeah. something like $54 million. The Hulk was number one. Opening <laughs> weekend. Here's Liv Tyler, who's uh, the girl in the movie. She mm. says that it's it's an amazing adventure. You know, and and I was you know the 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 female strength behind this man, but in this one I actually got to like, be like come on, get in this truck, here we go, and we went on this amazing adventure together. <laughs> Thanks, dummy. <laughs> Thanks, dum dum. Oh my goodness! You're so smart. <laughs> Boy, she could talk about the Hulk forever. I think Oprah Winfrey must. I can't have... get enough. Liv Tyler talking about the Hulk clips. You got any more? <laughs> She's so fucking smart. <laughs> she knows her character. <laughs> Doesn't that turn you on when a chick knows her character? Oh wow! I was the strength behind the Hulk. Sure you were. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whatever, uh, I think Oprah Winfrey must have talked at a college or something over the weekend. Hello, peoples of Earth. <laughs> Fuck you! Here she talks about achieving new levels of growth. Too far. And all people. <laughs> she has achieved new she levels. She always puts on a voice when she speaks out in public. Yeah. To grow into being more of ourselves. Always moving to the next level of understanding. She's so up with people. <laughs> the next level of compassion and growth. Hello, lesser ones. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, uh, we need to evolve as human beings. We need to evolve into people with wings. <laughs> so we might fly. It's being able to walk through life eager and open to self-improvement. And that which is going to best help you evolve. Because that's really why we're here, to evolve as human beings. And now, Fuck you! I will <laughs> levitate over the crowd. I'm going to fly. Do you have a, is there a clip of Stedman not fucking her <laughs> and saving the world? He's like James Bond. He was busy. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg was the host of the 2008 Tony Awards. Here's a little bit of her. And the winner, the 2008 Tony Award, goes to In the Heights. I guess what? You <laughs> that together, are you? Mm. Anything else, Robin? Here's a little uh, performance of South Pacific. Oh, gee, didn't that play come out a hundred years ago? Yeah, was oh, it 1936? It's a revival. I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair. <laughs> I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair <laughs> and make him go away. Wash his jizz right off of my neck. Bali High await you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You will meet 
need a stranger. <laughs> There's something in my ass. <laughs> He changed the words. <laughs> it's updated. It's There's updated. a cock in my ass. <laughs> my boy Bill is as strong <laughs> as a tree will be. Is that you have to pick another hairbrush in your ass. <laughs> no, that's not from South okay. That's from Carousel. Yeah. And here's a little <laughs> clip of In the Heights, the one that won the best music. <laughs> I got a headache. <laughs> really? I got a gay headache. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus is the host of Nashville Star. Hello, hello. He's taking a little bit of a drubbing. Uh, on the Internet the other day, hmm. they were saying, you know, he wasn't the best father because, you know, not only is his little girl in show business, but he's riding on her coattails. I wish my dad would have ridden on my coattails. <laughs> really? Yeah. Anything to get his attention. Billy Ray says he's excited about this. <laughs> Being in Nashville, 211. I'm real excited about it. I, I just think it's going to be like, sure. it's so fun. And it's just so awesome that it's right here in Music City. There's no other place in the world that that we should be than right here in Music City and being home. And uh, Now, where's my little gold mine? I mean daughter. <laughs> and, well, she might not be a little gold mine for much longer if her reputation keeps taking a drubbing. They now mm. say pictures of her... In uh, some provocative poses with a new boyfriend are showing up on the internet. Kevin wow. Kevin Federline will be all over her in weeks. <laughs> all right, Robin. And finally, America's Got Talent's Jerry Springer yeah. talks about why he enjoys doing the show. 3 1. Because he pinches himself. He can't even believe after he was disgraced as a mayor that he's got a job. Well, I love doing this show, and I'm, you know, honored that they asked me back to be the host again. It's it's the most fun show to do because it's the typical, it's the all-American show. If you can get a show like that, why can't I? I know. Well, we I should all have here. shows. You're not kidding. Mike Myers has a new movie coming out called The Love Guru. Love Guru? The Love Guru? <laughs> There's something in my eyes. <laughs> he says it was fun making this film, 210. But he had a good time. <laughs> This is the most fun I've ever had making a film. That's what he said about it. Yeah, all right. Okay. So I married an axe murderer. Okay, Robin. And finally, <laughs> this is a cautionary tale. A Colorado man underwent Ooh, surgery there. some time ago, and now he's suing the Department of Veterans Affairs after a surgical instrument was left inside him. <laughs> I wish I could be that lucky. He's uh, 57-year-old Richard Keller of Parker, Colorado. He has a clamp in his chest. Following a triple bypass operation, mm. he's represented by an attorney named Derek Cole, and he says hospital staff acknowledged only five of the six clamps they used were taken out after surgery, well, but they decided to sew him up anyway. During an MRI, Keller says he could feel the clamp being pulled by the magnetic field. Oh. Three, two. The magnet in those things can pull out anything that's metallic, which, you know, I was lucky it didn't. Yeah, he said it could have pulled the, the metal right out of his chest, mm. but it didn't happen. His attorney says the hospital claimed the clamp left inside oh. Keller was like shrapnel. Three, three. This clearly isn't shrapnel. When you go to war, you expect maybe war wounds. You don't expect in any hospital in this country to go in and have a clamp left. He's saying that, the, you know, they took it rather light. Richard Keller and his attorney joke about the VA's offer to remove the clamp if it becomes life-threatening. Three, four. How do they determine when it becomes life-threatening? <laughs> I don't know. I guess if it kills me. <laughs> so they are suing. He won the lottery. It's a license to print money. Uh, yeah. Please. And that's what's happening. <laughs> All right. Hey, Howard. Yes, uh, Arthur. Uh, real quick, Lisa G told me this. It may or may not be right, but check it out, please, if you can. I was told by Lisa that my book is now available for pre-sales on Amazon.com. So, Artie Lang, Too Fat the Fish, pre-sales. It's out November now, do 11. I get an advantage? Pre-sales now? I That's get what they said. Do I wow. get an advantage by getting it early? Uh, well, you know, listen, Howard, they plan on... Uh, uh, no. No. <laughs> I don't but know. I'd want, uh, I'd want the first copy. Early so Christmas shopping. Uh, understood. Uh, I see. Right, check those, it out. All those early birds. I hope oh, it's I'll show you that. Sounds good.